is. So, we need to find the equation of parabola with focus at negative 3, negative 2, and equation of directrix y equals 4. So, first, we need to graph this uh, parabola using the given. So, we have the focus, negative 3 and negative 2. So, negative 3, then negative 2. So, this is our focus, then the equation of directrix y equals 4. Now, in a parabola, vertex, the midpoint of the focus and the directrix, then P, the distance from focus to vertex or vertex to directrix, and focus always inside the parabola. Now, let's go back to the graph. Since vertex, the midpoint of focus and directrix, so we need to compute the distance between focus and directrix. So, we're going to use the counting method. So, in counting, this is how to count. From this point, start counting on the next point. So, we have 1, 2, so again, from this point, start counting on the next point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, the, the distance from focus to directrix, 6, then since vertex is the midpoint, so divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, that's 3. So, 3, so therefore, this is our vertex. So, the point of our vertex and focus and vertex should be aligned. Now, since focus always inside the parabola, so our parabola opens downward. Focus inside the parabola, so opens downward. Now, since opens downward, so therefore, the formula, x squared formula. So, x squared formula because our parabola uh, pass through two points on x. Okay? So, x squared formula, and since downward on negative y, so our p is negative. So, that's negative 4p. So, we need to find the values, the value of h, k, and p. So, in the parabola vertex, that's h and k. So, in the graph, our vertex, it's negative 3 and 1. So, negative 3 and 1. Not 1, negative 3, but negative 3 and 1. So, x first, then y. So, since vertex negative 3 and y, 1, so h is negative 3 and k is 1. Now, p, distance from focus to vertex. So, from focus to vertex, 1, 2, 3. So, p is 3. So, these are the values we're going to use to solve this problem using this formula. Then, we just have to substitute these values. So, h is negative 3, k is 1, p is 3. And from this formula, so h, that's a negative 3. Then, p, that's a 3. Then, y, uh, k is 1. Then, you simplify. So, this one double negative, so that's positive. So, and this one negative 4 times uh, 3, that's 12. Then, this is our uh, standard form. Now, to solve for the general form, we just have to expand this equation. So, for x plus t to the power 2, so I'm going to use the shortcut method, the SMS. So, the square of x, that's x squared. Then, the product of these uh, three numbers, 2 times x times 3. That's a 6x, then the square of 3, that's 9. So this is how to expand this x plus 3 to the power 2. Then uh, on the other side, or the, re uh, the right side, just apply the distributive property. So negative 12 by n, positive 12. Then equate the equation to 0. So transpose this uh, number. So that's negative uh, 12 by becomes positive 12 by, and this positive 12 becomes negative 12. Then you combine like terms, the 9 and the negative 12. Then x squared plus uh, 6x plus 12y, then 9 minus 12, that's negative 3. So this is our general form.